Have you ever wondered about the most terrifying creatures in Greek mythology? Greek mythology, a body of stories from ancient Greece, is brimming with a vast array of creatures. These myths were used by the ancient Greeks to explain the mysteries of the world around them, from the changing of seasons to the creation of the universe. And within these tales lie creatures so terrifying they've inspired countless stories and movies even in our modern world. Some creatures in Greek mythology are known for their cunning, like the Sphinx who posed riddles to unsuspecting travelers. Others are known for their brute strength, like the mighty Cyclops. But then, there are those whose very name sends chills down our spine. These are the creatures we'll be exploring today. They're not just scary, they're the stuff of nightmares. So brace yourself as we delve into the world of Greek mythological creatures. From the winged harpies to the monstrous titans, prepare to encounter the top six most terrifying creatures in Greek mythology. Starting our countdown at number six, we have the harpies. Now, these are not your everyday bird-like creatures. The harpies in Greek mythology are known as the wind spirits. They are swift, fierce, and have an insatiable hunger, making them a terrifying force to be reckoned with. The harpies are often depicted as beautiful women with wings, but don't be fooled by their enchanting appearance. Their beauty is a stark contrast to their vicious nature. They swoop down from the skies with lightning speed, snatching away food and sometimes even people, vanishing before anyone can react. One of the most well-known myths involving the harpies is the tale of King Phineas. Once a seer who was blessed with the gift of prophecy King Phineas was punished by the gods for revealing too much of the future. As part of his punishment, he was tormented by the harpies, who stole his food every time he tried to eat. He was left in a state of constant hunger until the Argonauts, a group of heroes, came to his aid and drove the harpies away. And there you have it, the harpies, a horrifying mix of grace and ruthlessness, beauty and terror. They are the embodiment of the saying, appearances can be deceiving. The harp is indeed a terrifying blend of beauty and horror. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the eerie world of Greek mythology. Moving on to number five, behold the Chimera. The Chimera, or Chimera, is a monstrous creature straight from the nightmares of ancient Greece. It's a fiery fusion of three animals, each aspect more terrifying than the last. Picture this, the body and head of a lion the tail that ends in a serpent's head and a goat's head sprouting from its back. It's as if someone threw a lion, a snake and a goat into a mythical blender and hit puree. This terror-inducing triad is not just a visual nightmare, it's also a fire-breathing monster. Imagine a creature so terrifying that its breath alone could incinerate you. That's the chimera for you. But every monster has its hero. And for the chimera, it was Bellerophon a brave warrior who tamed the winged horse Pegasus. With Pegasus's aid, Bellerophon was able to fly above the Chimera, out of reach of its deadly breath, and defeat it, thereby ending its reign of terror. The Chimera's tail serves as a symbol of nature's wild unpredictability, a stark reminder of the chaotic forces that often lay just beneath the surface of our world. It stands as a testament to the ancient Greeks' vivid imagination, their fears and their heroes. An unholy union of beasts, the Chimera truly is a nightmare brought to life. At number four, we encounter the infamous Minotaur. Born from the union of Pasiphae, wife of King Minos, and a majestic bull, the Minotaur is a terrifying creature of contradictions. It boasts the muscular body of a man, yet the head of a bull complete with menacing, sharp horns. An embodiment of raw power and primal fear, the Minotaur was a monster that struck fear in the hearts of all who heard its name. Confined to the heart of a complex labyrinth on the island of Crete, this half-man, half-bull creature was a living, breathing nightmare for those unfortunate enough to cross its path. Its reign of terror, however, was halted by the brave Athenian hero, Theseus. Armed with a ball of thread and a sword, Theseus navigated the labyrinth, found the Minotaur, and ended its reign of terror. The Minotaur, a monstrous testament to the horrors of Greek mythology. Climbing to number three, we meet the petrifying Gorgons. Greek mythology is replete with fearsome adversaries, but few are as spine-chilling as these three sisters. 
The Gorgons, named Stheno, Uraeli, and the most infamous of them all, Medusa, were reputed to have hair made of living, venomous snakes. Their faces were so ghastly it was said that a mere glance would turn a man to stone. Imagine the sheer terror of encountering such a creature, where even the instinctual act of looking could seal your fate. The Gorgons were not just terrifying, but they were also almost invincible, with scales tougher than any armor and claws, sharper than the finest sword. Yet despite their fearsome reputation, the Gorgons were not invulnerable. Enter the hero, Perseus. Tasked with the impossible mission of slaying Medusa, he employed a cunning strategy. Armed with a mirrored shield gifted by Athena, Perseus managed to avoid Medusa's lethal gaze. He used the shield to guide his sword, striking without ever directly looking at his target. Thus, the most famous Gorgon met her end, her head severed, and used later as a weapon by Perseus. The Gorgons, a chilling reminder that sometimes, looking can be deadly. Almost at the top, at number two, we have the Hydra. The Hydra was a terrifying water serpent, uniquely horrifying in its own right. It wasn't the kind of creature you would stumble upon during a casual stroll in the Greek wilderness. This beast hailed from the swamps of Lerna, and its reputation was as murky and dark as the waters it slithered in. Imagine a monstrous water serpent, but hold on, it doesn't stop at that. This beast was no ordinary serpent. It had multiple heads, each more frightening than the last. And here's the catch that made it almost invincible. If you managed to chop off one of its heads, two more would grow back in its place. Talk about a nightmare that keeps regenerating. This creature was so formidable, so fear-inducing, that its defeat came only at the hands of a demigod. Yes, you heard it right. Hercules, the son of Zeus, took it upon himself to slay the Hydra as part of his twelve labors. It was a battle of epic proportions, a clash between the immovable object and the unstoppable force, and it took all of Hercules' strength, wit, and a little bit of divine intervention to finally put an end to the Hydra's reign of terror. The Hydra, a creature so terrifying it could only be bested by a demigod. And now, the most terrifying creatures of Greek mythology, the Titans. These elder gods, born from the union of Uranus, the sky, and Gaia, the earth, once held supreme power, ruling the cosmos with an iron fist. They were beings of unimaginable power, each embodying a fundamental aspect of the universe. Their reign, however, was not one of peace and prosperity, far from it. The Titans were tyrants, their rule marked by chaos and oppression. They were a force of nature, uncontrollable and destructive. Imagine a storm, not of wind and rain, but of raw divine energy, capable of shaping the very fabric of existence. That was the power of the Titans. And yet, as formidable as they were, their rule was not unchallenged. A brutal war ensued between the Titans and the Olympians, the younger generation of gods led by Zeus. This was no ordinary war, it was a cosmic conflict that shook the very foundations of the universe. The Titans, in all their might, battled against the cunning and determination of the Olympians. The war raged on for ten long years, a testament to the Titans' formidable power. But despite their strength, the Titans were eventually defeated. Their downfall came not from a lack of power, but from a lack of unity. The Olympians, though less powerful, were united in their cause. The Titans, on the other hand, were divided, their egos clashing just as fiercely as their weapons. In the end, the Titans were overthrown, their reign brought to an end. They were banished to Tartarus, the deepest pit of the underworld, where they remain to this day. Their defeat marked the end of an era and the beginning of the reign of the Olympians. The Titans, the epitome of terror in Greek mythology. Their story serves as a stark reminder of the destructive power of discord and the strength that comes from unity. There you have it, the six most terrifying creatures of Greek mythology. From the deceptive harpies to the monstrous titans, these entities encapsulate the fascination and dread that Greek tales continue to inspire. They're a testament to the ancient world's imagination and the enduring fear of the unknown. If you're captivated by these eerie narratives and want to delve deeper into the realm of mythology, remember to subscribe for more fascinating tales from history and mythology. Until next time, sleep tight and don't let the harpies bite.